Hey KT fam, I'm back with another video. I'm back with another trucking video. I'm trying to stay away from the sun because if I get in it too much, then I kind of disappear. So yeah, um, basically we are pulling an Amazon trailer today. Um, we're going from New York. I think we're in Buffalo right now. No, we're not. I think we're in Lancaster. We're in Lancaster, New York, and we're going to Cranberry. Tell me if I say that wrong. Cranberry, New Jersey. Um, a little short run, but we have a long one after that. So anyway, yeah, we just picked up the trailer and this video today is basically just to show you guys how to couple a trailer um, to a tractor. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys like how to pre-trip the trailer and everything. Every time you connect a tractor to a trailer, you should do what I'm gonna show you, okay? So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe for more videos. And I'm actually not the one that's driving. Actually, my girlfriend is driving. <laughs> I want you to do my whole mask on. <laughs> she has her mask on because she just left. She forgot to take it off, but yeah. So, um, yeah. My girlfriend's the one that drive. My girlfriend is the one that's driving, but she's just so nice, so she let me back in and do everything, so she can record for me. Well, for her to show you guys, so you know, you guys have to say thank you too. <laughs> yeah, to me. <laughs> My girlfriend is like the best camera person ever. Like you see in the last video, how she ran around the other trailer to hurry up and get the other, uh, what do you call it, angle for me backing in. But yeah, so anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, yeah, see you in the next one. Okay, actually, before I show you that footage, um, we just found out our next load. Um, so after we drop this one off in New Jersey, we're gonna go to Massachusetts. It's called like Staunton or something. Let me get that, hold on. Cause it's on, we have the Amazon Relay app. So I'm gonna go on Babe's phone and yes. Yeah, Dalton, Massachusetts, 3,041 miles. That's not counting Deadhead. So 3,041 miles to Sacramento, California. That's awesome. But let me tell you about this load, right? What's so interesting about it? Seatbelt has me stuck. <laughs> so what's so interesting about this load is that we're literally going to Amazon in Massachusetts to pick up an empty trailer. <laughs> I hate when the back is open. To pick up an empty trailer and go all the way to California with it. I'm like, that trailer better be that important that it just is going from Massachusetts to California with Three nothing in it. Miles. That's great. With nothing in it. <laughs> I hope it's not windy or anything because, you know, we're gonna get knocked around with that empty, but. I just wanted to tell you guys that actually I want to show them really quick so I wanted to show you that it's really important that you line up these um, tires with the trailer exactly like that okay so you're gonna see the tires lined up I don't know if you can tell what I'm talking about and then also and then also I felt literally felt the trailer lift up when I got under it a little bit so I know there's no space so I can just continue to back up. If you don't feel, physically feel the trailer lift up, then make sure you park, get out, and check if there's space between the trailer and the fifth wheel. So I'm gonna continue going back. Yeah. Get the fifth wheel as it clicks in. Okay. Because, yeah. 
Yeah, because once you see it went in, then you know, but also... Okay, so after you make sure that the fifth wheel is in the handle, is in, you'll hear it click, actually. You're not going to be looking at it. But um, then you do a, what we call a tug test. So you put the, car, the truck in drive, and you give it a little bit of gas, and make sure it doesn't come disconnected from the truck, basically. Not too much gas. And then come under here and check. You see the fifth wheel is locked. There's those two things, they're locked around it, so you know it's good and the handle is in. So that's good. And then obviously we're gonna connect the cables now. So now we start with the... You don't want them to be twisted. I will start with the blue one, the service airline. And then the green one is the electrical cord. Obviously, that one goes right there. And they all match with the colors blue, green, red. Well, that one's not green, but you know what And the emergency airline goes in there. Those were not too hard to put in. So, let's go lift up the lady here. But there's a high gear and a low gear for the landing gear. So this is high gear, it's gonna move fast. That's once you get it off the ground. The low gear is for like, you have a load and it's touching the ground and the high gear is not getting it to move. So you put it in low gear, get it to come off the ground a little bit and then high gear makes it come off fast. Okay. Um, I Make sure you have your lights on and your four-way flashers so you can check them as you walk around. That's called the clearance light. <laughs> Listen, my girlfriend loves to make fun of me, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the turn signal and it might be a marker light. That's what my girlfriend said. And it's working. You see it's on and it's flashing. Um. Alright, well. I don't know how much we weigh yet. So, I might Amazon be Amazon usually to light. Yeah, Amazon is usually light. I don't know how much you weigh yet, but it, they might be good right there. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Let me check them with the hammer. Okay, so the hammer is to check the tires. If you get a little bounce, like that. It's like checking your knees for reflexes. If you get a little bounce, it's good. If you hit it, it's like, boop, then something's wrong with the tire. So they're a little bent, but the mud flaps are good. All right, this little marker light is working. And the ABS light is not on, which is good. All right. So these lights back here are working. Turn signals. They did not put that door in very well. And they tied it with a tie. Cut what, babe? Oh. Okay, I fixed it. I don't know what they did, but anyway, I fixed the problem. All the lights are working in the back. Make sure you check the tail, the tag light as well. Um, walk on this side, do the same thing. Marker light, there's no ABS light on this side. Most flat, we check. Bouncing, bouncing, light, working. Everything is good, there's no wires hanging. Clearance light over here is good. Um, okay guys, so I wanna hurry up and get out of here. I'm probably already taking too long because Amazon, well, I don't know back in the day amazon used to be like you got 20 minutes in and out so i'm just used to rushing with them um with that being said i do want to get out of here i hope i did the pre-trip you know thoroughly for you to understand um and yeah we'll get the paperwork on the way out and the seal and with that we'll know if we need to slide the tandems or not and also we can just go to a scale um yeah so the main thing is connect your your hoses of course 
check the fifth wheel. Always make sure the fifth wheel is locked. Always make sure the fifth wheel is locked. You don't want to start driving and it's not locked all the way and you lose your trailer. Make sure the landing gear is up, the wires aren't hanging, the lights, all of the lights are working, and check the tires. I think that's the main thing. And um, yeah, so let's go to New Jersey. <laughs> Here. Oh, sir. Oh, five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. 